Hey everyone, welcome back to another unboxing here on Print and Play. Today we're taking a look at something a little special. This is a Nintendo Switch game. It's small, like minusculely small. If you used to play Nintendo games and somebody told you one day that your games would come on a cartridge this big, you'd probably tell them they were full of it. This is a Nintendo Switch game case. It is way larger than it needs to be. Really, this case could be smaller than a DS game case, but I think they just wanted to make you feel like you're getting something extra for your 80 bucks. And this is Sonic Mania for the Switch. And to top it all off, this doesn't even come with a physical copy of the game. It's time to see what's in the box. So let's crack open the top, and immediately we are greeted with another box. Now, you really have to appreciate the styling on this because Sonic Mania is meant to be a throwback to 2D Sonic games, and this box recreates the type of packaging Sega was using when 2D Sega games, 2D Sonic games, we're at the height of popularity. It's got the nice uh, holodeck grid-ish pattern on the box that was customary back when Sega was at their the height of their game. So on the front here, we have the Sonic Mania logo with Collector's Edition written here. We have the Sega official seal of quality. Sega logo, obviously. And Sonic looking much like he did back in his Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis heyday. Rotating to this side, we have Welcome to the Next Level, and we have the traditional view of Dr. Robotnik as he looked back in the 90s. Now, the Welcome to the Next Level was on a lot of the packaging back in the day, so again, that's a throwback. What do we have on the back of the box? Well, as it says, 2D Sonic is back. So this looks very much like the back of a Sega Genesis game from back in the 90s, and as you can see, we have Sonic, we have Tails, we have Robotnik down here, and we have Knuckles. So, so the three playable characters being Knuckles, Tails, and Sonic. And on this side we have the repeated Sega logo, the repeated Sonic Mania logo, and Sonic the Hedgehog looking very nonchalant. So the Collector's Edition was about four times the cost of the regular game, and it does come with a digital download code, so you do at least get a copy of the game, it's just not a physical copy of the game. <clears throat> So, what do you get for your $80 Canadian? Well, doo -doo -doo -doo. that is a freaking huge Sonic the Hedgehog statue. In addition, up here we also have, if you can see it through the plastic, a replica of a Sega Genesis cartridge with Sonic Mania written on it, and some sort of collector's card that we'll take a closer look at in a second. So. Go ahead and pull the plastic off the front here, and you get your first clear look at our good friend Sonic standing on a Sega Genesis. The original model of the Sega Genesis, not the remodel, so that's a Model 1. And uh, let's pull him out and take a closer look at him, and then we'll look at the other swag that's in the box. Go ahead and pull him out, and we'll move the box for later. So right off the bat, this has got to be close to the size of the original Sega Mega Drive. Uh, the detailing on it's really, really nice. Uh, the reset button doesn't do anything. The volume button, it slides, but it doesn't feel like it's actually doing anything. It just makes a clicking sound. Um, I have pulled this out already to put batteries in it because it doesn't come with batteries, and without the batteries, you don't get this. Now, I don't know how well that's coming through on the mic, but it really genuinely sounds like it used to sound coming out of your TV. It doesn't sound cheap like some of the $2 electronics you get in kids' toys sometimes. This actually sounds exactly the way it used to sound. I'm pretty impressed with that. The modeling on our friend Sonic here is pretty well done. Um, the paint's well done. There's a few seam lines on the arms. 
he looks really good. Uh, I'm not going to lie. The, uh, the seams do show through, but the paint is nice and separated. Um, Sonic, for the most part, makes that pretty easy because of the nice sharp lines that he has to cut it off on. The color of Sonic, I find it a little light. I think it should have been a little bit darker. Um, it's a kind of a pastel -y blue, and I remember him being a little bit darker back in the days. Um, of course, I got most of my Sonic experience from reading the comics, so it's hard to say exactly how they decided to model it. But the modeling on him is great. He made the transition from 2D to 3D much better here than he did in some of his original video games. We'll go ahead and give it a rotate around. First, we'll walk through the front, though. So we have a headphone jack here that isn't really a headphone jack. It's just stickers. Um, the button or the controller ports are also just stickers and in, stuck into a plastic indentation. The top of the unit has on off switch, as I was saying, the reset, the volume, the Sega logo, the Sonic Mania logo. It still says high definition graphics on here, except for now Sonic Mania is running on HDMI at 1080p. So that is actually accurate. Um, has an LED that doesn't actually do anything, so it's probably just a red piece of plastic. Maybe one day, if there's any interest, I'll tear into it and we'll see what's in the inside, although I'm betting not a lot, considering how very bottom light this unit feels. Rotating around on the back, there's nothing. The sides, there's nothing as there was on the original system, and nothing. On the bottom, we have the battery compartment, and that is it. So he can sit right there for the rest of the review. I'm just looking at the camera. Next, I'm going to take a look at this metal card that's in here because I want to finish on a high note and I don't think this is it. So we've got this card here that's made of aluminum. It's got Sonic on one side. I'll go ahead and stick that forward so you guys can get a good look at it. And tails and knuckles on the other side. And in text on the bottom, it says fun is infinite. So not much to that, just a little collector's card. It's well painted, the detail work on it's nice. Yeah, not, not too many complaints about that. Okay, and last and probably I'm gonna bet without taking a good look at it that it's gonna be the second best item in the box because I don't fully understand the aluminum card. I guess it's just a nice collector's item, but in here we have what looks like a pretty good replica of a Sega Genesis cartridge done up to look like Sonic Mania. So I guess because Sonic looks like an old Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis game, they figured you might as well see what the cartridge would have looked like if it was a Mega Drive game. So the detail on this is spot on. Uh, I genuinely think that would probably fit into an actual Sega Genesis. I don't want to try though because I really don't want to risk damaging my console. Um, the circuit board on the bottom is actually just a piece of plastic with a sticker folded over top of it, but they still put the details in so you can still see the pins. Um, but the interesting thing about this is this is actually a case for a gold ring. Now, the plastic around the gold ring is pretty cheap. I don't think it would take a lot of abuse of popping this in and out. Um, it's kind of disappointing in that way because the plastic for the actual cartridge feels like the genuine article. There you can get a better look at the fake circuit board and as you can see the detail work on the label is just fantastic we'll go ahead and pop this ring out and this ring genuinely looks the part it is metal uh, it also does mark up pretty pretty easily like I gotta tell you um, I dropped it once when I was looking at it before doing the review and it, uh, it, it got scuffed up, so you're going to want to be careful with it if you end up with one. Uh, the weight of it's good, though, and uh, it genuinely looks the part. The only thing would have been more interesting is if they'd made it so that you could somehow snap it into his hand. But uh, there you go. That's exactly how he collects in the game. He makes a fist and then just lets them sit on his thumb. It's spot on perfect. And that is all she wrote. That's what's in the box. So, if you like this video, thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't, the other button's there too. If you're new here, subscribe. Uh, you'll see lots of unboxings and stuff in the future. If you have something you'd like me to unbox in the future, why not toss in the comments below? I'll see what I can do. And until next time, stay creative.